Former President Donald Trump invoked his Fifth Amendment right more than 440 times Wednesday in refusing to answer questions at a deposition by lawyers for New York Attorney General Letitia James, who is investigating the Trump Organization's business practices, a source with knowledge of the session told NBC News. Shortly after arriving at that court-ordered interview under oath at James' offices in Lower Manhattan, Trump released an email saying he would not answer any questions given the Fifth Amendment right barring people from being compelled to make self-incriminating statements. Trump answered just one question, his name, and then cited the fifth on every other question he was asked during the deposition, his lawyer Ronald Fischetti told NBC News. Trump also read aloud a statement in which he called James Probe the greatest witch hunt in the history of our country, and accused the Democratic Attorney General of openly campaigning on a policy of destroying me, Fischetti said. James was there for about half of the total four-hour session, according to Fischetti. Trump's lawyer said that Kevin Wallace, an attorney in James' office, asked Trump about the valuations of various real estate assets, including golf clubs, his signing of documents in connection with mortgages and loans, and the size of his apartment. I once asked, if you re-innocent, why are you taking the Fifth Amendment, now I know the answer to that question, Trump said in the emailed statement after he arrived at the deposition, which claimed James is a renegade prosecutor with a vendetta against him and his company. Attorney General Letitia James took part in the deposition during which Mr. Trump invoked his Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination, the spokesperson said. Trump's deposition came two days after the FBI, in an unrelated criminal investigation, raided his home at the Mar-a-Lago Club in Palm Beach, Florida, and seized what his attorney has said were about a dozen boxes of documents. A Manhattan Supreme Court judge in his February ruling ordering Trump and two of his adult children to submit to questioning by James' team had noted they would have the right to refuse to answer any questions that they claim might incriminate them. Judge Arthur Engeron also wrote that if the Trumps invoke the Fifth Amendment, their refusal to answer questions cannot be used against them in a criminal prosecution. But after failing in court efforts to block those subpoenas, Donald Jr. And Ivanka answered questions from James investigators last week, NBC previously reported. Eric Trump invoked his Fifth Amendment right more than 500 times when he was questioned under oath in the probe in October 2020, according to a court filing in January.